Live from ATL, it's your tour guy, Tour Ray, BT Hip Hop Awards, man. You never know who's going to stop through the studio, who's going to stop in the building. Now, we just had Greg Street on, man, and he mentioned this guy, somebody that I've actually heard a little bit about. The buzz is definitely growing. The buzz is... Listen, you know if I say the bars is there, we talking different, man. Big shout out to Matt Citron. What's going on, man? Hey, man, it's a pleasure to have me out here, man. I'm just, uh, I'm just honored to be on the show, man. No doubt, no doubt, man. So how you enjoying uh, what's going on out here in Atlanta right now for the BT Hip Hop Awards? I mean, honestly, man, I just love anything that's bringing, uh, you know, positive light shed on Atlanta because, um, you know, we got so much going on right now in the city with, um, you know, the movies being shot here and the music industry is booming right now. And so, like, honestly, man, I don't I don't want to be selfish, but I love all the shine that comes to the city, man. And so anything new coming through, got new uh, stuff going on. And so it's uh, it's exciting to see people looking at the city, man. Yeah. Now, now, speaking of new things coming through, that's pretty much you, man. Yeah. A lot of people haven't heard, but a lot of the right people have heard from yeah. from Greg Street to, to D and Shadow. Um, you know, having having some major cosigns now. What I first heard you on was the uh, Tabasco Flows, the one and two joint. Yeah. You tackled some 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 uh very I won't say difficult beats but beats that you got to know how to rap on yeah. to to rap on those beats. Just talk to me about the the process of the thought selection behind choosing the beats that you rapped on. Uh, one was was the Zig, Exhibit C, and then uh, what was the Jay Z joint you did? Uh, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah. So those is rap beats. Yeah. Like let's get to the bars beats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why'd you choose those? Um, it's funny because I was just saying the same thing to Sway. Um, it's like I really wanted to be tested on the highest platform. You know, I wanted people to hear me up against um you know some of the some of the best rap performances of all time and i, I think that uh especially exhibit c is uh garnered as like one of the the best uh full out just raps uh of my lifetime you know and so i wanted to i wanted people to hear me and be able to compare it to jay electronica and i, I was saying the same thing it's like i wanted people to go like man i don't know about this and then halfway through the song they're like yeah he's doing it you know and and i wanted people to people to like feel pressed so I could, um, so I could, like I said, just be really measured up against some of the greats uh, from right off the bat. You know, before I even put out really a first single or anything, I wanted people to say, "Okay, this guy's a competitor." Like, you know, I'll, I'll listen to what he has to say. So sure. I definitely think that you got you got that attention because a lot of people jumped on that beat, yeah. and they should have definitely not jumped on <laughs> on that right. beat. Now, um, I read somewhere your parents are from New York City, yeah, right, and you used to play ball. Uh huh. Because when you walked in here, I noticed you was eight feet tall. <laughs> And that's why we yeah. taking all our pictures sitting down. Yeah, you ain't gonna have me out here looking like Kevin Hart. <laughs> so how did how did you how did you make that transition, or why did you make the transition from from playing ball to? Because you got a Porzingis feel about you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that um, I think that uh, I've been playing ball my whole life, and uh, and um, you know, hip hop. In my opinion, basketball is part of hip hop. Um, and I think that um, I've been around the culture my entire life. Um, and it's, it's been, it's my, it's, I'm, it's the only culture I know. It's the only world I know is, was basketball for my whole life. And especially being in Atlanta and growing up, I had two parents and a bunch of family that were from New York. And so I saw, um, a big side of, of both, both spectrums for me, Atlanta and New York, you know, the two biggest cities on the East coast. And, um, I grew up with both of those influences. And, and so, um, you know, for the transition, it was like, it just made sense. And I started freestyle when I was in, uh, early on in high school and, and, um, and really just fell in love with it. And it was something we did on the way to games and like, you know, uh, between between games on the road and stuff. And then um, when I was up in New York, I actually transferred up to school in New York. I was playing ball up in New York at Adelphi University. Shouts out all my boys up there. Okay. And um, I was up there and um, they just so much embraced what I was doing with the music. And I was like, okay, if the New York cats are gonna feel what I'm doing, like I know that they're, they're not gonna just, they're not gonna feed right. me lies. Right. And so I, uh, I was just with it and we were pushing it and they started playing it in the bars and the clubs and stuff up there around the school and I was just feeling so much love. I never doubted it, you know, and then uh, I kind of got to the end of the rope with basketball. I just wasn't really feeling it anymore. I was going into the city telling my coach I was going to meet with family, but I was really going to meet hip hop bloggers and stuff. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, I was um, and then uh, at the end of my uh, at the end of my, my first year up there, I actually got hit in the eye playing pickup and I actually tore my retina. And I had a laser eye surgery. So the, the, the eye is cool now. Um, you just gotta look out for it. But um, I, uh, I was like, you know what, man? Like, what am I doing? Like, yeah, basketball was this love in my life, but I didn't want to force it anymore. And I was, I was so much in love with the music. I was like, man, I, I gotta get down to Atlanta. Something just telling me I had to get down to Atlanta. I've said it before. I'll say it again. You know, and I, I followed that energy that was just in front of me. And sure enough, like two weeks after getting down to Atlanta, I got, I met Greg Street. 
And um, so I really feel like God was watching out for me for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's just not a, a, a by chance right. type of meeting. Now, you, you got a single out right now. You yeah. just dropped, right? Yeah. Saha's on it? Saha is on it. Shout out to Saha. The back to bars. You yeah. remember what happened last year here when we was down here. Saha came through and, and definitely did what he did, man. Yeah. So just talk to me about that record a little bit. So that record is real special to me, man, because it, it, it went through so many different phases. You know, I got this beat from uh, this kid out in California um, who um, – real young cat and i uh i spit over it and then and then i came up with the hook and the hook just like it i was in lennox mall in the food court eating saku japan <laughs> and i was going to the studio later and i just had my phone out and i was like four oh four zone six east and i the best hooks i've ever written always just just came out and it just came out and then i went to the studio and it was kind of this vibe in the room after i spit it there's a few other people knew and they're like oh that was dope because for atlanta it was so much atlanta and, and i actually went back and tweaked my verse to to make it really full and, and filled the hook out and then you know um we uh we uh i've met saha before me and him are real cool obviously through greg street and uh we got saha on the record and then um meshack with beer and tacos was actually chopping up with us in the studio one day so you know who we should add that third verse is uh money making neek from the west side um and uh you know saha's from the east side and it was like this thing that just kind of grew and came together and then we had to go back and change the beat after we couldn't get a sample cleared and it was funny because i feel like the new beat actually feels more atlanta than the old one did and it just it like was such an evolution of this one song and so for it to be my first song that i put out i just felt real confident about it and felt i felt really proud honestly because i've always wanted to do something positive for the city and positive um you know for uh for the people around me and so yeah, 404. It's uh, it's out everywhere. It's on uh, iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, and it's uh, we actually just shot the video a couple of days ago, and so uh, I'm I'm real excited about this one, and we got we got a bunch more coming. So no doubt, no doubt. I I can definitely tell just from the energy and the conversation yeah. that you know you 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 excited about it and, and you really passionate about the music. Right. Cause you see them type of deals they was giving out in the off season. There's a lot of money to be made yeah. just being the 12th man in yeah. basketball. But but you chose this right. this rap right. career and this hip hop path, man. It's we great to uh, glad to have you here yeah. on Hip Hop Nation. Not shy either. A lot of artists, especially first time, first interviews, they real you know reserved. Yeah. You know one 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 two word answers. You definitely yeah. let it. You definitely let it flow. Now let's get into the most important question of the day: Hawks or Knicks? Hawks or Knicks? The Hawks, man. Cause, uh, and the interview is over. Shout out to my <laughs> Knicks. Shout out to my boy Mike Mescala. We out here, boy. All the dudes on the Hawks. We out here. We eating. We getting money. I'm going to let them get away with it because we in Atlanta and I got to be here for 72 more hours. Yeah. You know how we do it, man. Hip Hop Nation, your tour guide, tour race. <laughs> 